If you use Stripe to collect your payments, you may have noticed on the right side of the screen, you now have the ability to create apps. Sort of like in Gmail, there's a button on the right side of the screen where you can add in apps to Gmail. Well, now you can do that with Stripe. In this video, we're going to go through how to create your first Stripe app. You can be up and running in about five minutes. It doesn't take a long time at all. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We're coming out with videos all the time. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll put these links in the description below, uh, but these this is the documentation that tells you how to create your first uh, Stripe app. There is a Stripe CLI now that you can download and you can use that to create your apps. Um, so I'm just gonna click this get started button. That'll take you to this page. One of your first steps is to sign into the Stripe dashboard if you haven't already. I've already done that. Uh, so I'm gonna go on to number three. So one of the first things you'll need to make sure you do is to have homebrew installed on your computer so you can use this brew install command. I'll put this link in the description below, but you'll need to go here to install homebrew on your computer first before this will work. After you've done that, you can just copy this Brew install Stripe, Stripe CLI Stripe. Open up a terminal, paste that right there, click enter. Now it looks like if you have the new uh, Mac with an M1 chip, you might have some issues with the homebrew installed. Uh, I have personally, and so the way to fix that would be to get started with the Stripe CLI. Click this right here. Uh, and this gives you some more options. Um, the only option that has worked for me is uh, you should go here. So the uh, Stripe documentation says to look for this one specifically. But um, based on my other uh, looking into this, I really think I may need to install this ARM64 one. So based on other documentation, I'm just going to go ahead and try this uh, ARM64 one. I feel like this might be the one that will work with um, with the M1 chip. And I'm going to open a terminal. And instead of saying this one specifically, uh, I'll still say tar XVF. Um, and instead, I'm going to copy the ARM64 one, that name, and I'll come here and paste that. All right, so again, uh, Stripe's instructions did not work for me, so I'm going to try to drag the, um, the one that says ARM64. I'm pretty sure that's the one that should work. I'm going to drag it directly into the uh, user local bin folder, which you can open a finder window and say command shift G in order to search for the user local bin. That's how you can get to this user local bin area. So I'll just put it there and I'll double click it to unzip it. And now let's see if that will work. Uh, Stripe can't be opened because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. All right, so it looks like that worked, but um, I get this error that says Stripe can't be opened because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. Uh, the solution for this is you have to allow the script to be run from security and privacy. So I'm gonna open up my settings. Go to security and privacy. Uh, let's see where it is. There it is. Click general. Okay. And so down here it says Stripe was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. Just say allow anyway. Oh, before you can do that, click the lock to make changes. Click allow anyway. All right. So now that you have done that, Let's try it one more time. Open up the terminal. Can I log in, please? Okay, so now that this pops up, I now have an open option. All right, so we can go ahead and go on to the next step. The next step is Stripe plugin install apps. Step two is Stripe apps create a Hello World app. And after you paste that into your terminal, it'll open up something like this. 
I'll say accept. Then just click enter for everything in the terminal. All right, so that worked. And now to preview our app, we can just say CD hello world. Okay, and then you can just say Stripe apps start. Okay, and press enter again. All right, so I'm gonna choose my account. All right, and there we go. There is an example app. You'll notice over here, it says choose a page below to get started with Hello World. Uh, I'm just gonna click customers. These are all fake customers, but um, yeah, so that that's how you create your first app. You can see how it works over here. The so way if you wanna open this in uh, something like um, Visual Studio, I have this command already uh, built in. I'm gonna exit out of this real fast. So I'm just gonna say code dot, and we'll go ahead and look at the code to see what it looks like. Okay, and so this is uh, what it looks like on the inside. You can see the source code here. Uh, if you ever wanna make any changes so that it uses TypeScript, uh, you can kind of just play around the, with the code. I'll probably make another video uh, just going through the code, how it works, how to make updates. There you go. That's how you create your very first Stripe app and you can view it in your dashboard. I'll probably be coming out with some more videos on exactly uh, how to update your app and uh, how to make changes to your Stripe app, maybe how to publish it to the marketplace. If you're interested in videos like that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Uh, we come out with videos all the time. If you like this video, make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.